Chapter 19th of Iracema, The Honey Lips, The Legend of Brazil by José de Lencar. Translated by Isabel Burton. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Chapter 19. Pochi returned from pursuing the foe. His eyes filled with delight when he saw the white warrior safe. The faithful dog followed him closely, still licking from its hairy mouth the tabajara blood of which it had drunk its fill. Its master caressed it, pleased by its courage and devotion. It had saved Martin by guiding so diligently the warriors of Jacaúna. The bad spirits of the forest may again separate the white warrior from his Pichiguara brother. The dog will henceforth follow him, so that even from a distance Pochi may hear his call. But the dog is like companion and faithful friend. It will be Pochi's companion and friend still more when it serves his brother than when it serves him. The white warrior shall call it Japi, and it will be the fleet foot with which from afar they will run to each other. Jacaúna gave the signal of departure. The Pichiguara warriors marched from the glad banks of the Herons River, where rose the great Taba of the prairie lords. The sun declined, and again soared in the heavens. The warriors arrived where the sea range fell towards the Midlands. Already they had passed a part of the mountain, which, being scant of tree and shorn like the capivara, the people of Tupin had called Ibiapina. Pochi took the Christian where grew a leafy jatoba that overtopped the trees of the Serra's highest point when waving before the wind. It seemed to sweep the sky with its immense dome. On this spot, the white warrior's brother was born, said the Pichiguara chief. Martin embraced the enormous trunk. Jatobá, thou that sawest my brother Pochi come into the world, the stranger embraces thee. May the lightning wither thee, O tree of the warrior Pochi, when his brother abandons him. Then the chief spoke as follows. Then Jacaúna was not yet a warrior. Jatobá, our greatest chief, was leading the Pichiguaras to victory. As soon as the full waters began to run, he marched straight for the Serra. Arriving here, he was sent for the whole Taba, that it might be nearer the enemy to vanquish them again. The same moon which saw their arrival shone upon the hammock in which Sai, his wife, gave him one more warrior of his blood. The moonlight played amongst the leafage of the Jatobá, and the smile upon the lips of the great and wise chief who had taken its name and might. Iracema approached. The turtle dove, feeding in the sands, leaves its mate, who flits restlessly from branch to branch, and cools that the absent one may reply. Thus the forest girl wandered in search of her prop, softly humming a gentle, tender song. Martin received her with his soul in his eyes, and leading his wife on the side of his heart, and his friend on the side of his strength, returned to the ranch of the Pichiguaras. End of chapter 19